all countries have a finite quantity of resources. This means resources are limited. Economists say that resources are scarce since the quantity is limited. Sometimes the resources are more scarce in one country than the other. For example, some African countries have a scarce amount of water and fertile soil. Some other times, countries have resources but are not capable of or willing to exploit them. Ethiopia has food shortage due to not exploiting its major rivers. It does not have the financial capability to do so. Needs are things that humans need to survive, such as food or water, while wants are the desires that people have. So wants are unlimited. We call it infinite. No matter how much we have, we always want more. That is the human nature. So what exactly is the economic problem? World's resources are finite, but people's wants are infinite. For example, there are 7,000 people who want the new Nike shoe, but Nike has only 6,000. 1,000 people have not satisfied their want of the Nike shoe. So in simple words, the demand for resource is greater than the supply. To overcome this problem, three decisions should be made. What to produce? A country cannot produce every good the people want, so they must choose what goods will be produced. How to produce? There are many different production methods which could be used based on the product. And for whom to produce? After production, the distribution of goods should be considered. For example, should everyone receive the same quantity of the good? Or should a certain age group get more? We learnt now that all decision makers are faced with choices. So resources have a number of alternative uses. So you would have a choice on how to use them. For example, a government might have a budget of $5,000 million. They could either spend this on a new motorway, or a new hospital, or a new school, or a new port. So if a choice has been made, decision maker would have sacrificed an option to go for another. That is the opportunity cost. The opportunity cost is the cost of the next best alternative given up when making a choice. Back to the government example. So here are the government's options placed in their order of preference. So if the government decides to go with a new port, the opportunity cost is the benefit lost from creating a hospital. Well, that's all for today. If you preferred it instead of a whack in the face with your textbook, then like and consider subscribing.